Logarithmic function by definition is just the inverse function of an exponential function. And when we talk about inverse, it's basically, uh, if you think about it, it's the reverse of a different fu or another function. So we have here the notation for logarithm, and you need to read it correctly. And to read the notation in standard form, it's basically logarithm of x base b is equal to y. So you don't read it as logarithm of bx equals y. So you read it as logarithm of x to the base b equal to y. And here are some examples of our logarithmic functions. So we have logarithm of 4 base 2 is equal to m and logarithm of x base 5 is equal to 9. So now that you're familiar with a logarithmic function or the notation and how to write a logarithms, we need to learn how to convert logarithms. Since the logarithmic function is the inverse of an exponential function, we should know how to write a logarithmic function into its exponential function. And here are some of our examples on how to convert logarithmic functions into an exponential function. Now, conversion of logarithms to exponential is one of the basic skills that you need to learn on understanding logarithms. So the first thing that you need to understand is how to convert it, because if you know how to convert logarithms to exponential, you will be able to answer more problems involving logarithms that we're going to have in our next lessons. So to convert the following logarithmic functions to exponential functions, for number A, or letter A, we have log logarithm of 3 base b equal to m, using this formula, we can change this logarithmic function into exponential function, and it will be b raised to m equal to 3. So this is now my new form for my logarithmic function, which is now changed to an exponential function. And once again, the reason why we need to know how to convert logarithm to exponential is because we are more familiar with an exponential function. And if we convert a function that we are more familiar with, it will be a lot easier for us to understand how logarithmic functions um, work. So for letter A, once again, we have b raised to m equal to 3. Now in my head, this is how I visualize my conversion, so I don't need to look at the formula every time I need to convert it, because it's always easier when you know in your head how to convert something, so you don't need to uh, rush to your uh, notebook to find the conversion table for logarithmic to exponential. And this is how I see it in my head. So if I have logarithm of 16 base 2 equal to 4, and I want to change it into an exponential function, I simply or I always start looking at the base. And I know that the base is raised to 4 equal to 16. So that's how I look at it in my head. So 2 raised to 4 equal to 16. For me, it's like a circle. And that's one of the things that you can apply to yourself if you want to learn how to convert it in your head. So obviously, some of you will have a different way on how to convert it, but this is how I see it. So whenever I see logarithm of 16 base 2 equal to 4, in my head, I know it's 2 raised to 4 equal to 16. And for number or letter C, I have logarithm of x base 3 equal to 2. In my head, I know I can convert it into exponential by looking at the base. 3 raised to 2 is equal to x. 3 raised to 2 is equal to x. And that's how we convert logarithm to exponential. Now, to convert an exponential to logarithm, you just need to do it in reverse. And we're going to have more examples of that later on. As I have mentioned it's easier to work with exponents because we are so familiar with the exponential notation that in our head, whenever we see 2 squared or 2 raised to 2, we know that it's equal to 4. Or 2 raised to the third power, we know it's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Now, in our examples right here, we need to learn how to evaluate or solve logarithmic expressions or logarithmic equations. Now, for number one, we have logarithm of 16 base 2. I understand that most of you are not familiar or you're not seeing how we can find the actual value of logarith logarithm of 16 base 2 without using our calculator. And to do that, we have series of steps on how to solve the actual numerical value for logarithm of 16 base 2. And here's how we 
solve it. So the first step is to equate the logarithmic expression into x because we're trying to find the number inside the box, so let's replace the box with an x. So now we have logarithm of 16 base 2 is equal to x. And if you will notice, this is just a logarithmic function that we have seen on the previous um, example. Now what we can do is to convert it into a more familiar ex um, expression or equation and that is the exponential function. So we will convert this into exponential function. So in our head we know that it's 2 raised to x equals 16. 2 raised to x is equal to 16. So from logarithmic function, now it is an exponential function. We can be able to solve for x by thinking of a number on what we can raise 2 with for it to be equal to 16. And in that case, the exponent that we need to replace x with for 2 to the x equal to 16 is 4. Because if you raise 2 to 4, it's equal to 16. Therefore, x is equal to 4. Now, this might sound um, a little bit weird or something that you're not familiar with, but in time, as we have more examples that we we're dealing with, you'll be able to understand the logarithmic better. So for now, let's just follow the three steps right here, equated to x, converted to exponent, and then think of a number that we can replace x with for it to be equal to the equation. So x is equal to 4, so we know that logarithm of 16 base 2 is equal to 4. So this is the numerical value of our logarithmic expression by using the steps. Now let's have the second example. We have logarithm of 81 base 9, and we need to find the numerical value, which is equal to logarithm of 81 base 9. And to do that, we need to do the three steps that I just presented. So first, equate it to x. So I have logarithm of 81 base 9 is equal to x. And then I will change it into an exponential function, which is now 9 raised to x equal to 81. Now I just need to think of a number that I will need to raise 9 with for it to be equal to 81. And that number, as we know, using an exponent, is 2. So 9 raised to 2 will be equal to 81, so therefore, x is equal to 2. So in that case, logarithm of 81 base 9 is simply equal to 2. And that is how we evaluate logarithms by conversion of a logarithmic equ equation into an exponential function.